Chuck's going to eat a decarboxylated cannabis cricket. We want to see what bugs the cops, doesn't bug us. We have taken can of butter and injected it into the rectums of some crickets. So Chuck is going to eat some crickets today at the uh, police station. Ooh wee, they're going to be good. Hopping good. The first rectum I've ever seen was a, a carpenter ant rectum. And I remember I was like eight years old and it was on my nose while I was sleeping. And when I opened my eyes, I could see his rectum. How do you know where the cannabis cricket rectum is? You gotta look really, really good. If you look really close, you could see it's like pulsating. You can see it pulsating. Oh. It almost wants oh. to poop. Did it wink at you? It is winking now, yes. Tiny little syringe with some can of butter. Psst. You know what kind of gauge syringe we use? A 25 gauge syringe to the to yeah, inject 25 their rectums? Gauge. Yeah, that's bigger than his leg. <laughs> 25 gauge syringe. Great. Are you getting hungry yet? I'm eating them all right in front of Sergeant O's Smelly. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Come on, man. I gotta stun him. Stop, so no, I don't stop hurt moving. him, bro. Come on. Don't hurt him, please. Well, the officer, they ate no, all my no, weed. All I could do is smoke Be the nice. crickets now. Be nice to the crickets. I'm rolling them up. Let them have a good life at the end. I'm rolling them well, up. They're, right they're here. pretty stoned, actually. Smoking these crickets tonight. You never smoke the cricket, officer? <laughs> Listen, I keep the roaches in my back pocket, the cr crickets in my front pocket, the ladybugs are in my shirt pocket, and the beetles are in my wallet. You gotta sit on the Beatles or they bite. We're in Homedale. We start every trip here in the bathroom, as does Brian Wilson. We're a medical marijuana patient in New Jersey, and we like to know where we could smoke marijuana here without, without getting arrested. Like in Homedale Township itself, and making sure you understand the law. I just want to understand if I'm in Homedale, what, what the law is of the New Jersey code. You know, for medical marijuana, we have these cards. It says that, that well, I put, can, Let me see the card. Yeah. Like, we're allowed like, to medicate in our own car yeah, as like, long as we're not driving. Right. So I have relatives in Homedale, and we'll, we will be at summer barbecues, and I will be in the van smoking marijuana, and I just want to understand what I might face. And, and where can we smoke around here? I know there's no smoking area here, but... What, what do you mean here, like on this property? I know we have to go off the property, but can you point us to where we can smoke around here where we won't cause a problem and won't be arrested, basically? I, I don't think there is really a spot. Yeah. That you could stand in, in, in a public area, to be honest with you. Yeah, the, the guidelines say anywhere you smoke tobacco, we can smoke. But we, if you don't want us to do it here, we won't. I mean, we'll, you know, whatever I mean, you guys want. You, yeah. you guys are kind of in a gray area, to be honest with you. And, like, in, in some snow smoking areas, I, I see carboxylated crickets. The crickets will eat the cannabis, and then I can eat the crickets. Yeah, what about edibles? Can you eat an edible here? I don't know how that sits in, in home Right. Because they don't make it adult edibles. And we, yeah, we don't know. And there are times I have to use marijuana in no smoking areas. I'm with my kids at school. I, w I would tell you, if, if you're in your car, parked somewhere, and you're not going to drive the car, yeah. You're going to have to show that you're not going to drive the car. Yeah. You're going to have to convince whoever comes up and questions you that you're not going to, 15 right. minutes later, put the key in the ignition and drive mm -hmm. it. Right. You know what I mean? right. So I would say if you're sitting in the passenger seat or something, or you can show, hey, I'm not driving, you know, somebody drove me here because they knew, like say you're going to bar the barbecue scenario, and you're at, yeah. you're at, well, I mean, if you're at a relative's house, I would say stay on the property if you can. Yeah. That yeah. would be the best way to do it. If you're going to go out to your car, you're going to take a chance. Yeah. For a while until New Jersey. Yeah. Comes yeah. Up. You know, I mean, it's going to, because like I said, you kind of fall into that gray area. Yeah. There where, well, I have the know, time it, to, like, prevent things, so I'm trying to make sure that everyone has these guidelines. I've yeah. I've been to a couple of police departments. See, so the reason we're doing this is for yeah. kids like this, because she's, we can go home and, and smoke our pot. Home. She's not going home. She, she's a 15-month-old who died from epilepsy before she got her medical marijuana card. She was waiting for her card for, for four months and still waiting for it when she'd had a 25 hour seizure. And we're fighting for this is a baby? Sabina yeah. Rose. Sabina Rose, Joanna. She, she died she waiting died for her medical uh, marijuana. How would they give her the marijuana? It, it would be in an oil form. Oil. Uh -huh. They're giving these kids oil and it's yeah. helping them. Kids are moving to uh, Colorado because of Christie's Rover regulations. We have American refugees. I never thought I would say those words together, American refugees, but we have them here. Like I have MS for 20 years now. I remember. I know you had, yeah, I remember that. I remember somebody me. I'm a mess. I got spine full of titanium. I was on roxycodone for 10 years, and now I, to I, I was on 90 milligrams every three hours. 
Same That's a lot. Minutes, and right? now I take zero pills. Just since I got medical marijuana, I, I take zero. Patch. You know what a lighter yeah, yeah, yeah. Lidocaine patch? Right. That's what I wear. Yeah, I have a TENS unit. I actually have a TENS unit so I can function for the day. I mean, I'm a mess. It's, a t it's like an electric shock. It, go it shocks my back. Yeah. I mean, I have horrible sciatic pain. And we're doing this for the kids because, I mean, we could be home and watching cooking shows. Yeah, and we don't need I this. Kids, and and kids, are kids are suffering and dying, and we, gotta, we have to do something. And patients are being arrested. Patients with these cards are being arrested. So that's why we don't want to just come here and smoke and be arrested. Like I said, it's, it's just it's yeah. one of those things, you know. I mean, it's not – the AG is going to put something out. They never put out anything that's crystal clear. Yeah, they never gave yeah, you these guys. Yeah. You can have this. This is we're giving we these have, out. We have. I, have I don't know if you guys have that because they didn't disseminate these. No. 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 I'm sure we have somewhere. I'll make a copy of it. Yeah, take it. That's yours. We're, we're giving them out. Medical marijuana program. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That particular so we won't smoke here. We appreciate. You, uh, <laughs> so what do you do? You, you have a, a specific doctor that, that prescribes it. For yeah. You? Yeah. And Titten Falls, my doctor, is now, but it wasn't always that easy. I mean, my doctor originally, I had to appear on the Dr. Oz show in the Yeah. Ten years ago. And With Montel, I had right? to drive to Cape May for the first three years just to, get to it. follow it to get to get a card, yeah. yeah. And even though I have a qualifying illness that benefits well from it, how do they? Um, uh, it's hard. Yeah. So that doctor will give you the prescription, and, and will he actually? Where, where do you get the marijuana? Uh, Woodbridge opened the dispensary. Yeah. They have. And how do they give it to you? In containers. Yeah. That it looks like a pill bottle. Like a pill bottle. Yeah. And it's got all the information. Yeah. Yep. Barcoded. I would tell you don't ever take it out of that and have that. Yeah. Sure. Like, even when I buy it, even if you're using the last bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have that pill bottle with you. Yeah. Have your card with you. Yeah. You know, like a driver's license, whatever. Yeah. Your ID with you. Yeah. I would tell you that if you're sitting in your car, y you know, it depends on the ocean you're gonna get. Yeah. It really yeah. does. You yeah. Know? I'm trying so hard to make it. I mean, me. You me. know, if you showed me the card. Yeah, but you showed I know me your license, so and, and well, I mean, you're different. Time. If I know you, but you know, I've known you for years, but I would probably look at you and be like. All right, you know, I, I, I don't think I would get into it. Yeah. Just no, because you hard. have that card, I would say, all right, fine. But the keys have to be out of the ignition if you're in a car. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole process. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You, <laughs> gotta, you have to follow every step. Yeah, then, yeah. Because if you miss one of those steps and the officer keys in right. that, he's going to yeah. Yeah. He's gonna err on the side of caution and say, all right, I'm, I'm taking sure, it. Sure, sure. I would think they'd have to give you like a step-by-step -step thing of they what, they're, what they, they expected won't. from you. They won't, they won't mm -hmm. do it. Uh, they won't do that until something happens. Yeah, until, until like, somebody gets sued or, or yeah. whatever, or, or something stupid happens. Or grandma who has her weed or yeah. whatever. Until it makes the front page, they're not going to Yeah. That's so what they do with everything. We're trying to make the back page this way. <laughs> I mean, everything everything they do is because of, you know, we're, we're the only state in, in, in the country that doesn't carry tasers. Yeah. And we, were, we had everything, everything was all said. They gave us all our guidelines, and then we read the guidelines. And they made the guidelines stricter to use the taser than it is to shoot someone. Wow. I would have an easier time shooting you and killing you than using the taser. Wow. So wow. we went back and we said, well, no, I, sure. I don't want it. Why am I going to carry it if I can't use it? Well, we practiced tasing our, ourselves for nothing yeah, yesterday. No, that's okay. We had a tension. We had my tension and we were practicing tasing each yeah. other. Just, just in case. <laughs> like, we didn't I even need to do that. I've been shot accidentally just working in my wall in my house. <laughs> I would tell you for the time being until yeah. it clear until something clears up or it you know, we become like Colorado which I'm sure yeah. will eventually happen in like yeah. a couple of years, but yeah. well, you're, gonna, you're, you're probably you're probably gonna have to go out of your way to make sure that people don't see you doing this. Yeah. I'm trying so just to make people aware that if they're gonna yeah. see you're gonna see other patients doing this, I'm sure. I, I'm sure we will, but and, and that's probably what's gonna have to happen yeah. for, for there to be something clearer than what we have now. Well, I appreciate this talk that we're having, and thankfully, you understand that we're both we're all missing from but and it's all... you're not always going to get me. No. You're sure. not going to get a guy like me. You're yeah. not going to get a guy who's a little more reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you get that guy who just started six months ago or a year ago yeah. or whatever, he might have a completely different attitude. Yeah. It's been 17 years. Yeah. yeah. I see a person smoking weed, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, even if, even if it's somebody that I know is not supposed to have it, it's not like... I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Can 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 he consume an edible here, or or he can't consume anything here? No, you should. Where? What do you mean in in this building? Like right now, if he wanted to eat a, some edible cannabis and just eat it right now, could he do that? I, if it was a prescription, I suppose. I guess. Well, why don't you do it then? 
Well, that is my prescription. Well, it's just because uh, you could show him the jar too. He can look at the jar. Yeah, the jar. I'm sure he'd like make, to see the jar. You can't hide this down your pants. First yeah. Of all, right? Yeah. How are you gonna? You're, gonna hide? Stuff it down your you're pants. not gonna. Now, it, now, that's in this the particular the, jar. Yeah. This is a strange way. You have to shake it to knock them out first. Yeah. He, and then you eat them. He I eats eat crickets. Those a day. He's in. He, uh, Those crickets have been eating all the cannabis that I so buy. They eat, they eat it in there. Yeah. They de they're decarboxylated cannabis crickets, and he eats them. Right now, there's lettuce in there. Because I ran out of, they ate all the weed I put in there, and so you put kale now in. I'm eating them. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I would tell you if somebody saw you eating crickets, they're probably just going to think you're crazy. I think he is crazy. That's besides the point, though. It? No, don't hurt them, dude. No, don't, don't, like, don't hurt them, bro. No, stop. You don't hurt the crickets. And then you can take one and eat one. Don't hurt the crickets. When I go to places with my family and, and it's, I mean, there's no smoking, you're in the Mammoth Mall shopping for hours, this is the way. Yeah. <laughs> Patients don't That's the only way, if you can't smoke. Science tells me this in nature, you know, that this is a host parasite. He's eating my medicine and I'm eating him and it carries it to where I need it. If that works, I don't think it's much of an issue doing that. So that's why I didn't know if that, I'd like to know what they thought about that. Cannabis crickets that are eating cannabis. Look at this poor thing. No, that's up there. Uh, that's terrible. I'm, I can't believe you eat those. You going to eat it? Don't if kill them. If you em. really want me to eat one, I will eat one. Only because it's a cricket and I need it. See it? Don't hurt them. Pretty tasty. Tastes like a cricket should. <laughs> Come on, dude. Listen, my it's awful. Daddy used to eat them. That's awful. And if he didn't... You know, I mean, if you end up in a courtroom, then you just have to do it again. You have to explain it again. Right, and, uh, yeah. right. Hopefully, the, you know, the prosecutor and the judge and everyone else will be like, all right, you know, they'll see it in a clearer light than the officer out on yeah. the street, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to just educate. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah we're hoping by yeah by doing this, just maybe we'll avoid all that. People will talk to their prosecutors. Yeah, oh, I see some of your stuff places. on Facebook from time to time. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate your answers. Appreciate it. You got it, man. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you.